Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and fellow YouTubers, thank you for clicking on this video. This video is going to be about the Tholian Reclus Carrier. I got a request in game through the chat system and there was another guy that was requesting it on the YouTube channel and he was like, hey, can you do a video? about the Tholian Reclus Carrier, the one that you do with all the uh, visualization and space sets. So I'm like, your wish is my command, sir, and I have a lot of time to do it right now. So let's get to it. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you guys another little bit of a tip, kind of a late tip, because it's um, this event is going to end the Q's Winter Wonderland. And usually each time you have like an event like this, there is a really quick way to get there. Um, and I'm going to show you guys that if you already don't know that. Now I'm going to press this button here and that's going to be Hail Starfleet. Or you can just press J on the default on your keyboard. And it's going to bring up this uh, window over here. And you can see over here that the Winter Wonderland event is going on right now. And if you click on this, this other window might pop up. Usually it's over here. And like if you are in, let's say, a whole different system or different map and you want to go to the event that's going on right now, just hit the transwarp button just as I did. And it's going to take you to Earth Space Dock or where the event is being held. So that's that. You're welcome right there. Um, As I said, each time an event is being held, they usually make it really easy for you to go from places to place and then go to the event by hitting the trends or button so the Tholian Reclus carrier so let's get to that ship um, first of all I'm going to show you the different um, uh, ship variations of it now unfortunately this is the maximum uh, zoom that I can have on this ship zoom out I mean um, this is as big as it gets um, isn't a lot there aren't a lot of um, options in this um, yeah with this ship there is just these two this is the upgraded hull material and this is the normal hull material I like the upgrade a little bit more a little bit you know it's kind of like you know something new something eye appealing I should say and yeah I'm gonna stick with that so purchase okay um, I do want to tell you guys where you can get it if you are interested in obtaining this vessel there are two ways to um, to obtaining this vessel the first one is you have about no not about if you have 800 Lobai crystals and the other one is through the exchange Tholian Reclus Carrier and through the exchange it's going to cost you about 76 million EC that is so if you don't have about 800 lobi laying around you can get it from the exchange at 76,000 so let's get into space now this is the same ship that I did the no wind scenario on and if you're interested in that I will be uh, posting the link on the description of this video so you can watch that how I did it as well and 
and um oh someone exploded uh, this vessel also comes equipped with a hangar bay so you can have it's like you know four pets or more if you're looking to get those um Tholian mesh weavers and all of those So I'm just going to go a little bit away from all of the crowded area over there so I can show you guys all the visualization of this ship in peace. <laughs> right off the bat, this ship, the upgraded hull looks really, really badass, I should say. So over here is good. At space at sub at this uh, space station that's called the 173 still don't know what it is I asked you guys a couple of times anybody know what this space station is all about nobody has a clue nobody has given me like yay this station has this purpose so anyway um let's see the Tholian Reclus Carrier, a little bit about the statistics, um, is an Admiral Tier 5 level captain. This ship is available for both Federation KDF characters. I um, think, yeah, should say Romulan characters as well, because it's on the exchange and you can get it from anywhere. Anyway, um, the Tholian Reclus Carrier comes with a universal console Tholian Tetrion grid. It also comes equipped with a thermion, uh, thermionic torpedo launcher, which has a chance to drain weapon and energy power from a target. So that's awesome to have. Um, yeah, it's available for 800 lobi if you have that laying around, obviously, or at the exchange for the current price of 76 million. A little bit about the statistic, it has a base hull of uh, 43,500 at uh, tier 5. It has a, um, a shield modifier of 1.375. So any shield that you equipped on this baby, it's going to be modified by 1.3. It has three forward weapons, three aft weapons, and then also can equip dual cannons. So that's nice to see. It has two hangar bays like I showed you in the game. It has a crew complement of 2,500. Now the bridge officer seating, I'm going to talk in the game because it's a little bit more obvious to describe those. It has um, four device slots uh, consoles, I'm also going to talk about in the game. It has a turning rate of 5.5 .5 and an impulse modifier of 0 0.18. So each um, impulse engine that you put over there is going to be modified by 0 0.18 obviously it has an inertia, uh, inertia rating of 30 and it has bonus power of plus 5 to engines and plus 5 to auxiliary uh, special abilities it has that Tholian Tetrion grid uh, and it comes standard with the Tholian Widow Fighters those are like you can get those at um, at the vendors for AC if you lose them, but I really recommend the elite version because you know go home or grow pro, as I always say. Or should I say go pro or go home? Anyway, uh, it also has carrier command obviously because you need to control those pets and it has subsystem targeting that's always nice to have. Um, consoles, standard shields, um, yeah I'm not going to talk about this, I'm not going to read all about this because I'm not a really good reader, I'm just going to show you guys by hitting that one. Um, as I said, three weapons on the front, and this is that thermionic torpedo that comes equipped with the ship. And it has a targeting arc of 90 degrees, it has 10 kilometer range, obviously, and it has a 0.05 second to activate, 
and 10 seconds recharge. It does 2784.6 kinetic damage and plus 15% chance to drain minus 50 weapon and engine power for 8 seconds on your foe. So that's, that's you know, that's moderate. That's not bad. It has 2.4 accuracy penalty inflicted from critical from a critical hit with crippling fire and it has plus 20 accuracy in all all of these stats do not apply to all of your other weapons this is just that for that thermionic torpedo keep in mind that guys now skill that affect this ability if you want to have this thermionic torpedo to be like um, the most damage the most you know uh, kinetic damage that it does or the highest kinetic damage that it has you need to put some points into starship weapon training kinetic uh, uh, weapons training or flow capacitors and if you maxed out all of these skills this thermionic torpedo is gonna kick ass um it also comes equipped with a tholion tetrion grid and this grid uh, creates a Totiran grid between you and your pets. This grid can be extended to any nearby ally. All affected ally targets will have their energy weapon damage increased. So this is also a kind of um, energy weapon increase buff to all of your allies that are going to be within 6 kilometers. So it's really neat if you are like support. If you're playing like support um, uh, in your team when a tholion widow fighter or a tholion mesh weaver is affected by the grid it will automatically reflect a tetrion beam attack up to two nearby enemy targets the tetrion grid is a very effective when used in conjunction with launched tholion widow fighters or tholion mesh weavers that are surrounding an enemy target so this is really, this is like, this ship is really like a support uh, ship. It's not really heavy on tactical, so you don't dish out a lot of DPS with this ship. And as you can see uh, on the console layout, it doesn't do that a lot. It's more of a survivability ship. And obviously it's science heavy so you can you know you can support your uh, your your team really good with this uh, with this ship you know you can do crowd control or you can do like an energy drain abilities on this ship it's really good on those those two um let's say um this tholian tetrion grid effect uh, uh created three max so affected created three max and then has six kilometer sphere so within six kilometer sphere this um, uh, tetrion grid is going to be activated and it has a 0 0.5 seconds to, uh, to activate and it has two minute recharge that's not bad plus 33 percent all and all energy damage for five seconds to all affected ally targets um, all Tholian fighters reflect two tetrion beams for two tetrion beams for 361 tetrion damage. So that's not bad, you know. Just hitting this ability and all of your pets are gonna have uh, 361 tetrion damage. And it has 2.5 percent chance of minus 182.7 old shields, and that means all shields facing from your uh, enemy. So that's that's nice, you know. It's 182.7 uh, times four because you have like forward, aft, and uh, left and right uh, shields. Um, as I said on the torpedo if you want to have this tetrion grid all the way to its max you need to put up some skill points in weapons training energy weapon um, energy weapon training and flow capacitors just like the torpedo does and this tetrion grid is going to be awesome it has four device slots i didn't mention that and uh, four on the engineering four on the science and a tactical console is also going to be having uh three not four three um 
do keep in mind that this is the upgraded version so uh, tier 5 u mean the u means for upgraded version and i thought normally it had two yeah normally it has two uh, tactical consoles but if you upgrade it you get an extra console as well now uh, starship masteries the first level or uh, uh, the first mastery or level one has quick deployment um, hangar recharge speed and increased rank gain for hangar pets 39.9% recharge time reduction to launch carrier pet crafts um, alright just got a text message sorry about that plus 50% rank up XP for all hangar pets Level 2 is going to give you Armored Hull, that is going to increase the maximum hull hit points by 10%. No, yeah, plus 10% hit points. Level 3 is going to give you Reactive Shielding Technology. It's going to improve shielding regeneration and hardness. It's going to give you 645.7 shield regeneration every 6 seconds and it's going to reduce damage to shield by 5%. So this is more of a tank ability. You can, you know, you can take out a lot of power of a lot of energy or torpedoes or kinetic damage with this thing. If you have your shields up, obviously. Level 4 is going to give you advanced shield system, it's going to increase your maximum shield hit points and it's going to give you plus 10% shield hit points. Now obviously all of the statistics is going to be different for all of you guys because uh, you don't have the same um, skill point set or skill point layout like I do so I'm going to show you guys the statistics of this ship with my character and I should say the shielding um, each shield facing has 16,433 so that's left right up and down and it has a hull hit point of 92,337 and do keep in mind it's going to vary from from player to player and character to character obviously um what else the bridge officer seating you have a commander universal slot with four abilities so you can go like tactical science or engineering all to your preference um it has a uh, ensign tactical station with one ability it has a lieutenant commander engineering station with like three abilities and you can put over there also a lieutenant commander science station with three science abilities and an ensign science station usually with one ability just like i'm using hazard emitters on that now as i said i use this vessel for the no win scenario and the no win scenario is um, really key on uh, crowd control you need to have like um, a really good um, like gravity well and maybe tractor beam repulse and tractor beam repulse is an ability where you um, where you push your enemy back you know it's like tractor beam but just the reverse of that and tractor beam holds your enemy in place but this tractor beam repulse is going to push your enemy away from you so it's like crowd control and you, uh, you just like push them away and gravity well it's like creates a gravity well uh, within a certain you know uh, where your enemy is right at that moment when you open the gravity well and it's gonna um, attract all of the enemies uh, that are around it uh, to that point so it's really good and I'm gonna show you guys this uh, ability in the game while we do infect it and uh, yeah, this vessel is really good for the no-win scenario or um, like crowd control or energy drain build. Whatever way you want to use it, it's really, really good. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's start with the different visualization on this ship. And we're going to start with the adaptive Mako set. 
And this is the adaptive Mako set. Let me go to full impulse so you guys can see that. And look how awesome it is when the sun reflects on the hull. Isn't that like gorgeous to watch? Now that noise that you just heard, those are just the, the mesh weavers, the pets that are doing that noise. This ship is really, really scary, I should say. I'm just positioning it, making a couple of screenshots um, for the thumbnail of this video, obviously. So the Aegis set is next. Let's see, do we have them all? One, two, three, set. Yes. And we have the ages set, but doesn't offer a lot of visualization differences. Just a couple of lines like here and here. nice let's see the Borg set is going to be the next one do we have them all one two three yes and there we have the Borg set with that big deflector dish that I put on top of the deflector area And that's nice as well. And could cryptic, could you please, please fix the planet? Because it's not assimilated yet. And it's like a bug when you equip the uh, Borg set on your ship. Somehow all of the Earth's, Earth, you know, uh, Earth planet is being assimilated. And we, if you equip something else. It's back to normal. Counter command. Counter command. And counter command. Here we go with the different visualization on the counter command. really is awesome all of these sets this is the only space set that I personally do not like I mean look at it it's so bad it is so bad cryptic you guys really need to redo this this looks terrible but again, this is my preferences, and everybody has his own opinion, and he's entitled to it, but to me, it's like really bad cryptic. Really, really bad. It's like, it's like somebody had like, had to rush it and didn't really put enough time, you know, in finishing the finishing you know finishing stage because it's like you know eh, let's go with gray and that's it <laughs> yeah i'm dishing it a lot but 
just you know it doesn't 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 appeal to me so anyway this is the Tyson set three piece set there we go and for all the space sets this is the one that I really love on you know um, visualization wise because it's over here it's like whitish you know and when you change it to the to the side where it's like you know dark or in the shadow you know you see all of these lines and all of these contours everywhere it's so awesome and it also changes when you're going from you know from the shadow to the light side and I purposely did not use the dark side right there anyway so if you go over here then you see it's turning white again and that's really awesome to see that transition look look at that this transition over here isn't that awesome that part over there look at that it's like all of this light becomes whitish again so next one is going to be Jim Hedar Jim Hedar sent with pink all over the place pinkish glow everywhere and obviously a pinkish engine wake or impulse engine wake and this is also good especially if you have your space set all the way um, leveled up or uh, upgraded all the way to mark 12 Dyson no we already had the Dyson um, this one is the Mako Mako doesn't offer any different visualization as the adaptive Mako they are the same but just to be sure and just to be thorough you can have the different visualization on top of this ship and I really wish that cryptic did on um, like if you change the visualization or change the space set and then your pets are going to have the same visualization layout that was going to be awesome to do if they get around to it i mean the new kara set it's going to be next let's see one two three sets on the new kara and obviously if you're using this ship the tholian uh, request carrier you have to have the Nukara space set because it's you know it's part of this ship and don't just take my word for it you can obviously you can do whatever you want to but it just you know it's kind of like part of this ship it goes with this ship and I think it's like this ship uh, came out around that time when the Nukara space set came out, so put one and one together equals two, and that means that that ship needs to have that space set. Um, the Omega Force is the next one, and you can see this has a lot of changes a lot of like grayish and you know dark dark color dark blue is it and obviously that engine wake that looks like a rocket <laughs> i 
like a rocket exhaust in space. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, let's see the Riemann. Riemann one, uh, Riemann two, and Riemann shields. There we go. The Riemann set always has that reflecting sunlight glowish part to it. And it's really good. It's appealing to the eyes. And when somebody comes with this ship, you already know what kind of space set they're having. Eh, Romulan space set. Not really fond of that, but... <laughs> Look at that, it's like greenish. Like uh, military green. <laughs> And yesterday I had a couple of issues with uh, texture clipping over here. Maybe it was just my graphics card. No, you can see it over here when I change it's going up and down. See that? A couple of issues. But it's okay. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, um, which one is this? The Solon is space set. Uh, one, two, three set. Yes. And the Solon is space set doesn't offer any visualization changes to the ship, just like the basic, basic model. But hey, you know, need to be thorough, so. Put it in there. Let's see what else do we have. This is the Riemann set. You already saw this one, and the Berean set as last. Look at that! Changed completely. You're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's like old newspapers, like wrapped around this ship. <laughs> I like it. I always say when I do this kind of video, it has that um, that industrial look to it. You know, it's like the whole plating hasn't you know hasn't been finished up yet. It's like you know somebody was like, "Hey, we need to finish this ship, and get it out there." It's like put some whole plating on it, and that's it. No finishing touches. <laughs> But I like it. I like I like this uh, space set. Now, obviously, I'm going to use the Nukara set, Nukara set for this ship. There we go. Now, this ship also comes equipped with its own special bridge. So let's get to that. And it's kind of like, um, yeah, just like the Tholian missions, you have those consoles that are going to pop up. And it's really good to see them because it's like, there's nothing there. And then when you walk by, they just pop up. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see. Wow. It's not loading really good. Come on, load, load, load. Any day now, Crypto, come on. 30-40, there we go, Tholian Bridge, it's like, you know, really dark over here, and I really don't know what these things are, maybe they're like windows or something, or doors, now, those are those consoles that I say, <laughs> look at those, they pop up, <laughs> you can access your account bank over here, a lot of stuff that I have in my account bank, 
select the small craft. That's just something that pops up. Um, we have a Borg bridge officer doing a lot of scanning. We have access library files on this console. Nothing to do over there. We have this console, contact duty officers to do duty officer missions. And that's that's kind of it. That's the ship. That's the entire tour. Now I haven't shown you guys this because this is like this, you know, the best part of it. Like all of those uh, consoles are going to come uh, through those red uh, stuff on the floor. And it's kind of like an awesome thing to see. And you can press this button over here, raise console. And then everything comes to life, even the lightning the lightning even the lightning light on this bridge somehow um, is activated and it's like lit up the entire room and as you can see that is supposed to be my uh, view screen and that's supposed to be I don't know what that's supposed to be but it's kind of fun because if you lower the console even these consoles go lowered so look at that this one is gone and that one is gone and if you raise it those console are going to be raised as well and um yeah that's that's it no chair for me on this bridge just just that And if you like the, you know, the dark version of this bridge, you have that console lowered. And if you want it lit up, you can have that. And this is some awesome animation that they did on that part. Look at that. It goes dark. And when you raise it, bam, it opens. It opens up. So time to get to the uh, fighting part. Now I'm gonna go with infected normal. Oh, that was quick. Um, do I have? No, I don't have that one. So let's just advance combat tracker so you guys can see how much damage I'm doing and engage. I'm going to show you guys in the game two different stuff and that's that um, tractor beam repulsor so you could push all of your enemies away and it also works when you have like uh, an, a dead enemy that has like that uh, warp core breach you can just push that ship away and it's really really good. So here we go. Now this is the normal version, so we are going to do a lot of damage on these ships. Now right off the bat you see that that thermionic torpedo. Oh man, this is going to be a quick battle. So all of these guys are doing a lot of damage. Now I'm purposely gonna be staying over here because I want to put that gravity well on those um, spheres that are gonna come up. There we have nanite probe. Nanite probe. There we go. And right there, I'm gonna put a gravity well, and they're gonna be like locked up over there. Look at them. All of them are going to be attracted at that part over there look at them they're going backwards see that that's the gravity well and I'm also gonna use that thermionic torpedo I'm not paying um, real good attention to all of the fighting in these it's already gone man we have a lot of DPS in this group. Mm, full impulse. Mm, 
Now this time I'm gonna use that um, tractor beam repulsor ability on these guys so I can like push them back. And here we go, a little bit closer. And here we go. Look at that. All of them are being pushed back. See that? That's that ability. Now we need to get the hell away from here. Because my shields are almost done. Ah, oh, crap. Now, this is the part I really don't like. Now, getting back in the game really, really fast. Hopefully, the mission is not over. Because we had a lot of DPS in that uh, that team, that group that we just did. And hopefully, they didn't do the mission all by themselves. Uh, no, only the cube remains. They already did the gate. And I'm gonna use that thermionic torpedo on this guy so you guys can see it. That is it. It's going, it's going, it's going. And then boom, it hit that guy. Now, the cube I'm gonna use in that Tholian grid. Oh, too late. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't have a chance to use it, but it's, you know, it's really good, it's really awesome, and it does increase all of your energy base damage, and I really recommend you guys using that if you're, um, if you, um, yeah, if you use this vessel, really, really recommend doing that, and it's really awesome, so... That was it for this video. I hope you guys like it and I hope you got like a little bit of entertainment out of it. And if you did do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up because it's going to help me out a lot. And if you did not like it, give it a thumbs down. But please do tell why you didn't like it in the comment sections below so we can learn from our mistakes, obviously. So... That's it for this video and I hope I see you on the next one. So stay tuned.